Howdy everybody, my name is Wolf here, Raptor, or Raptor Wolf 3, and welcome to Earthbound. Now this has been a playthrough months in the making. I tried to play it once, there was technical difficulties, and again, and again, and again, and I could never get it to work. I hardly got it to work tonight, but it worked, finally, hopefully, and... Now I finally get to play it. Now, <laughs> this was suggested to me by Spots. You all know him. He's been on the channel multiple times. One person's love tap is the other person's shotgun to a face. And he said that since I was born after all these games were in their prime, I was born 2001, this game came out in the 1980s or 90s, I forget. This game was very popular back in its heyday, and inspired many other games after it, such as the very famous Undertale, um, but I have never played it because I wasn't born in that era, and a lot of people who do watch YouTube were born in that era. So Spots suggested to me that since I will have a completely fresh take on the games of this era, that I should try and play some of them. So that's what I'm doing here today, and I am starting with Earthbound. Favorite homemade food. No matter where it's made, my favorite food is pizza. If you want to find a quick way into my heart, it's through my stomach, and to get through my stomach is pizza. Alrighty. Here's our cast of characters, and let's jump straight into Earthbound. Ness's house. It is my house. Let's go. And there's me. Wow, this <laughs> this game really does look like Undertale. Oh. Uh oh. Now, you guys can't hear the sound, because I'm wearing headphones, and I don't know how to record computer sound yet, because I don't have that software. But I can hear sirens, and there was a loud boom. I'll just put all the sounds in later. Hello? Mother, what is happening? At least I assume you're my mother. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? <laughs> and you wanna go for it? <coughs> and you wanna go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I ask you not to. Freaking crazy child. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Alright, this character looks familiar. Alrighty. <laughs> Go down the stairs and back to my mom. Be careful, come home as soon as you can. They told me to talk to the dog. Talk to. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? I don't know. Protagonist stuff to do. What the hell? There's some police officers. Hello, officer. Don't panic. It's just a... What? Meteorite? That who? Fell? I just want to what? Go home. Okay. You, sir. Talk to. On it. Police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We're going for the world record. Of most roads closed? That's... that's dumb. You guys are dumb. Alright, you. Random person. Did you hear the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. Yep, that's what they're all saying. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I gotta try to be the first to get there. I mean, I'm going there right now. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto! No. I'm my own independent protagonist. I can do what I want. You, what do you want? A meteorite has landed! The sharks are running wild in town! Wait, what? The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and... I'm hungry! I hate my job! Thanks for telling me, Mr. Police Officer! It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even, even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Nope. 
seem to be a rebellious child. But yeah. Uh-oh. Who are you talking? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But, uh, I haven't gotten almost any information about this game. Hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? No, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't heard almost anything about this game. Uh, all that Spots told me is it was really, really weird. Oh, hello. Who's this guy? Ew. So yeah, Spots just told me that this game is really weird and surreal. And that is just about all I know, other than an inspired Undertale. A game that I very much love, so I'm looking forward to this. Talk to. Hey, Neth! Don't be rubbernecking. You'll get in your coffee's oops. I mean, office's way. You go home. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you the more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. <coughs> that voice is hard to do. Clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out of my way, clear out, get out, is that all you say? Whoops, my mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Alright, you, talk to. Shh, shh. Why would I have to be quiet? It's a rock from space. It's not like it's gonna hear me and wake up. Or is it? Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? No. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? I wouldn't know. Come on, help me out here! Why did I just give him the Terrence and Philip voice? I just realized that. Come on, buddy, help me out here! <laughs> hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. Meteorite fell down and it went boom. It was a real mess for a while. Kind of looks like it's still a mess, if you ask me. It was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help my body stronger. To help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens, citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh... By the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? I'm planning on doing more retro games. Oh, hey, it's my mom. I'm planning on doing more retro games. After this, Spot suggested Metal Gear. So, or Metal Gear Solid? I don't know, but he said it was good. I'll have to ask him which one it was. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Okay. Talk about what? I just went up a hill. Later that night. knocking at my door. I'm not talking to anyone. Jesus Christ, will you stop knocking? Oh, who's this? Hello? Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. I'm guessing you're my little... S you're not Sally, Art. No, that's not Sally. If you live in the same house as me and you look kind of like my mom, I'm guessing you're my sister. Hey, Mom, who's knocking? My land! Who could be knocking at the door this time of night? Would you answer it? Why do I have to do everything? Ah! ah! Fuck. Who are you? Oh, wait, you're the annoying kid. Hey, l l listen to what I've got to say! When I took Piggy to the place where the meteorite landed? Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> hey, lay off. That's my mom. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police were off guard. Wait, the police that were guarding the meteorite left, landing left this, left suddenly, to deal with the Tharks. You know, the Tharks. They're the local ruffians. Oh, that makes more sense than actual sharks terrorizing the town. I mean, it's less fun, but you know, makes more sense. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed Piggy was gone. I blame the cops. Certainly wasn't my fault at all. I am spitting all over my monitor. <laughs> when my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Piggy? We just met, but okay. Okay, good buddy. 
Let us blow these popsicle scan sand <coughs> sand. My lisp is getting worse. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye? In quotation marks. To their mom. Don't you agree, ma'am? What? Why would you say that? I mean, that makes sense as a thing that I would do, but... Why would you mention it? What do you know? What are you hiding? Okay. I... I know what... That dog is unreliable, but you should take Frosty along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But... I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. The phone is ringing. Answer it. At my at my house, my dad gets bent. Oh wait, that's Picky or Pokey or whatever the heck your name is. At my house, my dad gets bent if I don't if I don't get the phone within the first three wings. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming. Ness answered the phone. Oh, it's my dad who's calling on the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. Wait, adventure? I'm just going to look at a rock. And how do you know this? <laughs> I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine, and uh, buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, father of a hero, at least. Ha <laughs> ha! Slam. Why was... People are talking to me weird, like they know more than I know. Also, my dad was Barack Obama for some reason. <laughs> Ooh, even creepier music. Hey, look, a bird. What the f ah! Let's not encounter any more birds. There's a thing. Alright, let's not get our ass kicked this time. You engage the coil snake! Used a biting attack. Ouch. Can I run away this time? Let's try to get away. Please see us, please see us, please see us. And dead! Huzzah! This game has very trippy bright colors. Oh crap, not you again. I knew this was going to be a, such a scary place. I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. No, don't go! Don't leave me with this guy! He's worthless! I'm sorry, Pokey. You're not worthless. Just really, really close. Alright, you must be picky. Talk to. What? Oh! You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Did he? Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Yay. Pokey joins you. All right. Ness, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Oh, now I yeah, That's because there was a bee. A bee I am. Oh god, a bee that talks! Not. Oh. I am from ten years in the future. Doctor Who B, kill it! <laughs> and, in the future, all is devastation. That ain't good. Key... Guy... Gaiages. Gigas. Gigas. Whatever. The Universal Cosmic Destroyer sent all of the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. 
Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. That's the most vague legend ever! It's like, when person A finds the MacGuffin, things will happen. Is like the only thing more vague than that. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock. That makes more sense. And reveal the path of light. You see, it is in my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. So just because you're the first, I'm the first guy you have ever met on this planet. This, I believe, Gygus Mont. <coughs> Gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. I mean, the birds are starting to attack me. That that might have something to do with it. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygas. Gigas. Kickass. <laughs> Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. Thank you, life advice bug. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yeah, I listened. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected to be, because I paid attention. Da -da 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 -da. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Its name is Buzz Buzz! Exclamation point. Neth! It looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Have I done something stupid before? Three boys, he said? Um, I'm not one of those three, am I? Cause I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Teeth. My heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Alright, I'm happy to leave you behind. According to some people, I have a sense of humor, oh god. I've been confronted by that thing from the day the earth stood still. God bless you! It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You have been successful at foiling Master Gygas's plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, just a useless insect. Hey, an insect that can talk, buddy. I mean, do you see bees doing that? Or ants? Or wasps? Or okay, I'll stop now. I'll stop you hard! What?